Pulling in a record fifty and a half million dollars at a fundraiser in Palm Beach last night. That's nearly double the amount President Biden raised at his New York City event alongside President Obama and Clinton over a week ago. I think it might be Pretty close. the greatest, greatest number ever well, raised. 26 right? was the record. Now this, now this is, is, right? Madeline Rivera joins us with more from Washington. Hey, Madeline. Hey, guys. Yeah, you're right, Rachel. The Trump campaign says this is the largest fundraising hall in history for a Republican or Democrat. A spokesperson for his team saying it took three Democrat presidents to raise $25 million and one president to raise over $50 million, Donald J. Trump. Here's Trump speaking upon arriving at the fundraiser in Palm Beach. Well, thank you very much. It's a great honor that you're here. It's going to be a very spectacular evening, and people are just wanting change. The rich people want it. Poor people want it. Everybody wants change. Our country is really doing poorly. We're a laughing stock all over the world, and we're going to get that change very quickly. The Trump team still has to catch up to the Biden campaign's war chest. The former president and the Republican National Committee raised about $66 million in March with $93 million in cash on hand. The Biden campaign says it raised $90 million in the same time period with $192 million in cash on hand. The Biden team says they are fired up by their numbers and are looking to grow their umbrella by courting Nikki Haley backers. I can tell you I am personally on the phone with Haley supporters every single day. In many ways, this is a marathon, not a sprint. We've got a lot of work to do. Obviously, our opponent, the other side, has told them that they do not have a home on their campaign. Well, we look straight into the eye of Republicans and Haley donors and say you do have a home here. Trump is expected to hold another high-dollar fundraiser in Atlanta this week. Guys, back to you. That was my joke. Thank All you, right, thank you so much, Appreciate Madeline. It. You got it, of course. We were actually just talking there towards the end of Madeline's report. You caught us because um, I was complaining Pete's got a big interview later <laughs> in, in the show that was didn't go to me. Um, Governor Doug Burgum, former 2024 presidential candidate, and uh, and now really working on behalf of Donald Trump is going to come up at 7.30 a.m. Eastern. Well, now you take us a little bit behind the scenes of the show. Sometimes we don't know who's going to interview who until That's the true. morning of. And so I'm going to take your suggestions, Will. If there are questions you have, I will channel them okay. through me like, how to get the governor. Yeah. And, uh, or we can trade. <laughs> you know? Well, i got to see what's on my sheet to see if there's something <laughs> to trade. You're <laughs> also getting some insight into the level of prep these guys do. <laughs> oh, I was prepping all morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm highly prepped. Uh, high, highly prepped. Right. Um, listen, that was a huge haul for the president. And, you know, it's so interesting. He breaks records at every turn. Um, think about the primary. Every record he broke on, during, you know, those primary elections that everyone's thought, you know, maybe he might, you know, have some trouble. Oh, no, not just clearing the hurdle, but clearing it with a record. And then you see him do that again tonight, which shows not just that the, the, the party is coalescing, but I think there's a lot of enthusiasm behind him as well. Yeah, it's an important, it's an important thing to consolidate early, which this is April. We're a long way to go, even before the conventions, before any, any uh, votes are cast. And you've got to get the machine in place, not just to run the ads and the air war, but to build the ground war of banking early votes. And I think Republicans learned that, understand that. Uh, and all of this is, is, is part of doing that. It's a big deal. Three presidents together in New York City raised $26 million and President Trump alone raised $50 million. The race is on. Meanwhile,